rounded corners. They weren't always around, but now it's hard to find a well-designed product or website that doesn't include rounded elements. As Keith Bryant wrote for Design Moto, it's difficult to think of them as a trend as they've essentially become an industry standard. Easy on the eyes, easy for CSS, and fortunately, easy to replicate in DaVinci Resolve. By the end of the video, this is what we'll create. Goodbye, sharp corners. So, I'll open the effects pane, drag in our solid color under toolbox, and set it to a nice beige color. Let's also open the media pool and bring in our first clip. Before we resize or position the clip, let's first add the transform effect, and it'll be listed within the open effects category. Select the clip, pop open the inspector pane, and under effects, within the open effects tab, you should see an expandable image adjustment section. Toggle on that crop and increase the edge rounding. Perfect. I'll make this a bit smaller and move it to the right. Let's do this for the other video clips. Drag it in, add the transform effect. Under image adjustments, we'll toggle on the crop, increase the edge rounding, and make it a bit smaller. And again, let's add some text. And we'll drag in a solid color background on a lower track. We can lower the opacity by switching to the settings tab and scrolling down to the composite section. Okay, here's where things get a little confusing. If you try to drag the transform effect onto this solid color generator, it won't work. Right click it and select new compound clip. Click create and now we can drag on the transform effect. We can crop it and of course, round off those edges. Now, you can like the way your videos look and consider dropping a like on my video. Subscribe to keep learning and share this video on your social media to help other video editors. Have a blessed day.